ตามกาหนุ่มสมาร์ทมูลทนมุบายพิกาเออมนุษย์ดังคัมโบเดีย a country on the verge of a new chapter in its history it's vibrant colorful and dynamic and its people are creative and hard working poverty rates have been slashed and per capita GDP has quadrupled in over 10 years for more than a decade its economic growth has been the envy of many of its neighbors Cambodia still faces challenges to meet the expectations of its young population and their challenges that cannot be ignored. So what's the issue and what's at stake? <music> Cambodia is getting ready for full economic integration with ASEAN in 2015, but its limited education system and too little investment in human capital will continue to limit employment opportunities for young Cambodians. Almost two-thirds of the population is under 30, but four out of five of them barely complete lower secondary education, so most of this potential labour force is stuck at the low end of the job market. There are 300,000 new job seekers every year, and many of them have limited options. Settling into the family business, working in the garment sector, or becoming a migrant worker in a neighboring country. Even well-educated graduates also face problems. Tourism, small enterprises, accounting and banking are all sought after sectors, but competition can be fierce. In the last uh, two decades, we produce uh, many, many students in accounting and business. We have only 2.5% of students study for agriculture in Cambodia is an agricultural country. We have only 3% study for engineering, and Cambodia need more engineers, need more technicians. Uh, I think for Cambodia to move forward, we need to produce more engineers, more agronomists, more people in other sector, not just uh, business and accounting. Like other developing countries, Cambodia is moving into a knowledge-based global economy. That means it needs to foster creativity, skills and innovation in its workforce. So it is very important for Cambodia to have a quality of labour force who will produce you know, the revenues for the country and the government can re redistribute uh, the wealth into uh, other populations through public service system. But this human capital is critical unless the quality of the human resources, labor force is good to add values, you know, they will not be able to contribute to the uh, Cambodian economy. But Cambodia's public education system is underfunded and it's still grappling with the after effects of decades of conflict. So how can it compete with some of the powerhouse economies that are already well established in ASEAN? The private sector indeed has an important role to play in helping improve the skills and capacity of the workforce. The Royal Government of Cambodia has already determined that the private sector is the locomotive driving our growth. This partnership is crucial in two ways, in fostering private vocational training schools and in fostering cooperation between private industry and the vocational training institutions of the government. Economic growth is not based on resources alone, but also on investing in human capital and developing intelligent people with the capacity to do more. 31-year-old Vin Ratana is just such a person. She's one of Cambodia's success stories, but it hasn't always been easy. 
One of the main reasons I decided to enroll in the technical school was the family situation. My parents didn't have enough money to send me to study in a university for four years or more. At the JVC, I received a scholarship that fully covered my accommodation and food. All I had was the determination to learn. Whenever I came home during the break from the JVC classes, my friends would ask me, what are you studying? I told them I learned about car mechanics and electrical systems. They laughed at me and said, as a woman you should not do that, because when you finish, you won't be able to fix cars like men. But their laughter only encouraged me further in my determination to succeed in my studies. For Ratana, there's no looking back. She's firmly on her way to tackle new challenges, confident of her future and sure that she has the necessary knowledge and skills to compete with ASEAN's best. At present, the ability of our Cambodian youth to compete is still limited. That is why we have to make a lot of effort to move them from attempting to hit just a single target in education. They must diversify to have additional skills. By doing so, we hope to become more competitive with our partners in ASEAN. The challenge now is for Cambodia to meet the expectations of its vast young population by raising its investment in human capital. ສາມຫມູ່ທົນມຸບາຍຈິກາເອີ້ມມະນຸດແລ່ມີມັນແດງ <coughs> ហើយផលិតផលក្នុងស្រុកសម្រាប់មនុស្សម្នាក់បានកាន់ជិតបួនដងធៀបនឹងកម្រិតការពីដប្រាំឆ្នាំមុនទៅទៅនឹងនោះ
ព្រោះអីខ្ញុំនៅធ្វើការត្រុកខ្មែរធ្វើការរោគចាប់ហើយ Chẳng ổn nít sốt tay chìa một bốn đại nạ riêng chấp ủ đồng mà sắc xa đồng rộng rộng càng nghịt vừa. Rì ai ká bởi chàng khí nế rộng càng nghịt tạm vị xài chàng nút, có căn tài miền phiếp tàn tăng sạch xoáy khăn lạng đài. Khăn ổn dạng bê lý thuốc sổ bọc lòng thì cứ xa đồng thật xa nâng bàn bà đồng bà đàn nâng sắc chì trang chụp nôn khăn ổn phân ai chờ cả anh này đôi chơi khăn ổn phân ai chờ cực công sạc kìa. Còn một tay bởi tế cảm bởi chìa bởi tế cả sĩ cám hơi nhẹ chấm nhẹ ពីពីប្រាំពាក្យរយហើយនៅចំណេញខាងផ្នែកចាំងផ្នែកចាបវិស្វកម្មមានតែ៣ពាក្យរយដែរប៉ុណ្ណោះអញ្ចឹងគ
สำหรับกัญญาเวนรตนาเนียงกมพงสถัดนขนมเพียบรังมอมุ้ยขนมกาเลยเลิกจีมุ้ยนังเพียบประชมเนียเนียจีมุ้ยนังเพียบเจี๊ยเจี๊ยอมปีอนาคตรบอกลุ้นนังเพียบประกอบหาเนียงอาจมีนรุ่ยห้อยในจุ่มในวิจีนังจุ่มเนียงจำบัดเนียเนียสำหรับประกวดประแจงจีมุ้ยในไอติสขนมดอกบอลอาเซียนนี่ปัจจุบันนี้สมัติเพียบเราบอกอยู่ชนกรรมเชียร์เยอะในเมียนกุมรัตน์ในลายโดยเฉพาะเยอะเตยคัดคอมอย่างน่าดำไปกุมอ้อยปูเตยเรียนแต่มวยพนักประสันเชียร์มันเนี่ยมันเนี่ยกวาดเมียนจุ่มเลี้ยงตัวขลุ่นเยอะอาจเมียนสังคมเตยประกวดประแจงจุ่มมวยได้กูปฏิเนี่ยได้นักนองเสียงบอกอย่างบางเพียบประชมเป็นนี้คือประเทศกัมพูชีไตรชลอยท็อปแต่ในการรุมเปิงตุกรบบอยู่จนอย่างใจเลือดหลบรบบอกลุ่นตามระยะการบังการกาวินิยกเลือมูลทนมนุษย์